the spotlight effect. So my mornings are often rushed. I'm mean, going to get up late. I stagger out of bed. I wake the kids. I, I greet the servants. I get ready. <laughs> I, make, I make breakfast. I run out of the house. And then usually around 3 o'clock, somebody points out that I have a big glob of shaving cream in my ear. Or it's because I neglected to actually look in the mirror while I shaved. Um, or I once been to a party and I found my shirt was misaligned. Seriously misaligned, not one button, but anyway. <laughs> um, so, and so I feel when this happens, um, I'm very mature and I basically feel this is the end of the world. This is, this is humiliating and everybody notices. And so the question is, how many people notice when something happens? So Tom Gilovich, a social psychologist, was interested in the question of the spotlight effect, which is when we wear a pink shirt to work, shaving cream in our ear, whatever, do we systematically overestimate how much other people notice? And across study after study after study, Gilovich and his colleagues have found support for the spotlight effect, which is that you believe that people are noticing you all the time, but they aren't. They're busy noticing themselves. Um, and this is actually a useful thing to know. Um, Gilovich got interested in this um, because he's interested in the psychology of regret. And it turns out that if you actually ask dying people, or really old people, basically, what do you regret from your life? Um, they regret the things, as a rule, that they didn't try. But when you ask them why they didn't try it, the answers tended to be, I would look silly. And it turns out, interesting to know, that people just don't care as much as other people think you are. The spotlight is not on us as much as we think it is.